Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about what is Spark RDD. RDD full form is Resilient Distributed Data Set. The meaning of RDD is RDD is an immutable collection of objects distributed across the cluster. This is the definition. So coming to the RDD right, RDD is the core abstraction of Spark means it is the collection of records that is distributed across the cluster. So the name suggests as it says resilient means fault tolerant. So RDD comes up with some fault tolerant mechanism which means that if some task is failed in between then RDD is capable enough of regenerating the task and redistribution to the worker nodes. This is inbuilt Spark's capability and the same with RDD. RDD has something called as lineage graph which will be able to regenerate the lost tasks or lost computations. So the name says resilient distributed data set means it is fault tolerant and the data will be spread across the cluster. So what is spread across here means let us say you have a file of 10 lines. What Spark does is let us say you are writing a job and you are writing some code to perform some task on that input file right. So Spark will partition the data. So this entire file is considered as RDD which is resilient distributed data set in Spark. For you it is a file but for Spark it is a RDD. The file contents of 10 lines will be distributed across worker nodes. So let us say you have 10 lines of data in the file then let it let us assume okay. First 3 lines will be distributed and partitioned to first worker node. The next line next 3 lines of data will be sent to the second worker node and the remaining data of 4 lines will be sent to the next worker node. So whatever data you send in the form of RDD it will be partitioned and distributed across the cluster for performing the processing ok. So now we know what is RDD now RDD is just a file to us but it is the main abstraction of Spark abstraction means it will hold the main uh, data and it the, the data will be spread across the cluster. So now what are the features of RDD? So first one is resilient. Resilient means fault tolerant which means that even if it is failing you do not have to worry about the data loss. RDD is capable enough of regenerating the lost tasks with the help of lineage graph or we can also say it as direct acyclic graph which is DAG. Next one is distributed. So let us say RDD has one file the each the, the lines that are present the data that is present in the inside that file are distributed partitioned and distributed across the cluster. Next one is immutable. Immutable means we cannot change once created. Let us say you have a file you are creating that as RDD ok. Once you create with some name let us say you are creating as some um, RDD1. Once you have that in the same program you will not be able to change that RDD that is called as immutable. Immutability means once created we cannot change it. So how it is advantage for us means once we have a definitive uh, content inside that RDD it will be same throughout the 
program which will be in turn helpful for the thread it's for thread safety if you know computer engineering before even in your studies if you have read about multi threading concept so whatever the value of the variable uh, in the first before even starting the program it should maintain the same stage until the end of the program that's when because the same job will be divided as multiple tasks and then those will be again divided as threads right and it will be distributed across the worker nodes means some part of the file will be executed in one computer the next set of data will be the processing will be done or computations will be done in the second computer and the remaining data computations are happening in the third computer because these are different computers imagine as different persons are doing you don't know what the other person is doing right so because of that we should maintain the same state of the data or same state of the variable or same state of the array this immutability will help us let's say you are having rdd1 as this set of data so computer 1 knows the same like it it knows that it has 10 lines of data in the file computer 2 also knows the same computer 3 also knows the same and it assumes the same because of that the computations will be accurate let's say if you are modifying that and if you are deleting last two lines then the computations will not be correct let's say you are summing up all the 10 lines sum column then if you are deleting the last two lines in between there will be a mismatch in the total sum of the entire file right so this immutability which is non changeability will help in getting the accurate result because we are working in a distributed environment next is lazy transformations we will discuss in another video de very detailedly about transformations and actions but as of now think that transformations means it's one task we are giving to a to the computer saying that we need this particular thing to be happen on the file that i am giving it to you so what it will happen what rdd will do is when you read a file one rdd will be created and whatever uh, instructions you are giving to the rdd it will hold back everything it will create a lineage graph graph means how it will write the step by step procedure first what we have to do read the file filter it for some value then perform some computations then again filter based on the date and then send the file let's say these are the steps we are giving as instructions to the rdd then what it will do it will hold back and it will be executed only when there is an action triggered so rdd is lazily transformation it will perform the lazy transformations this is one of the main features of rdd next is cacheability as we all know spark does in memory computing right similar way rdd will be cached so that the data can be easily accessible from all the worker nodes next is type inference what is type inference means usually we have statistically typed language and dynamically typed language right which means that uh, statistically typed language means at compile time the data type of a particular object has to be known okay the data type of the particular object means it can be string integer or float anything at compile time we should provide so you can see in some language while declaring the variable itself you will mention as int a int b string a string b something like that but these are called as statistically typed language and what is dynamically typed language means they will infer the data type at the run time let's say if you are sending one integer in one field it will consider that as 
integer field the data type will be considered at the runtime based on the data that is available in that column so what is this type uh, in inferred means whatever data that you are sending inside the rdd it can be string or int or whatever it is it will infer automatically you don't have to explicitly mention that you are sending strings or you are sending integer data or you are sending float data when you say file automatically it will divide them into the columns and it will understand data type of each and every column automatically you don't have to do that because rdd it's a, it, it has the feature for automatically inferring the type data type of the data okay so next now we know what is rdd what are the features of rdd how to create an rdd for that first we can use we can create rdds in three ways first one is using the parallelize method so let's say we have a data like this like it has strings five strings it has in a list and we are having that for this data variable so rdd equal to so this is the syntax for using the parallelize method for creating rdd spark dot spark context this spark dot is the like spark session you will understand all this when we start the hands on for spark spark dot spark context dot parallelize this is the method name and you pass this data here okay so using parallelize method we can create an rdd then the next one is using a file we can read a file as rdd so how to read any file so again rdd equal to spark dot spark context dot instead of parallelize we will use text file and you pass the file name okay then it will uh, then an rdd will be created with this file next is we can the third way of creating the rdd is creating rdd from another rdd as i said rdds are immutable let's say here if you see right rdd dot map i am doing this is an rdd i am uh, giving a, i am applying some transformation on this so with this it will create another rdd as we discussed about immutability once this rdd is created right we cannot assign the same another modified version of uh, the data to the same rdd so we will give another name to the rdd and we will perform the transformations on this rdd so when you do this operation rdd1 will not be modified it's it the data or the 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 details that it contains will be intact only the newly created rdd1 will have this mapped data this map lambda and all we will understand once we get into the hands on so these are the three ways we can create the rdds thanks for watching the video friends please subscribe to our channel for more interesting learnings thank you